Okay, one of my favorite things about uh, smoking a turkey is putting together my rub. Now, uh, today I'm having guests over. Normally I would probably have it a little spicier than what I'm going to have it because my guests, my in-laws, aren't into spiciness. Actually, neither is my wife. So, I'm going to use, here's my rub ingredients. It's going to be adobo uh, with uh, pepper. I got also this seasoning here. This is Baja seasoning. It's pretty good. Seems to have a lot of pep, a lot of spices in it, but not hot type spices. Um, also, this is a key ingredient: garlic sriracha, garlic sriracha, sriracha, garlic sriracha. This is incredible. Uh, also, going to add some more garlic. By the way, that's pretty much the theme of this whole thing: is garlic chicken. Because, in addition to all that garlic. Here's my uh, my bonding. I'm gonna bond it. I'm gonna rub it on with this uh, olive oil. And inside there, if you could see it, is crushed garlic. It's been sitting there overnight. So this, uh, let me taste it. Yep, definitely garlicky. So we got a lot of garlic. And finally, kicking chicken. If there's any spiciness at all in it, is gonna be this kicking. It's not too bad. It's pretty good. I think they'll be able to tolerate that. So. Basically, I'm going to put all these spices together, use the, uh, the olive oil infused with garlic as my uh, rub, and then I'm going to start smoking it. Oh, and okay, I've mixed my uh, seasonings with the olive oil infused with garlic bonding agent and all I got to do now it's very simple I'm just gonna rub it on that's my rub now when I'm done with this I prepared a bed of vegetables all right, I'll show you there's a big bed of vegetables right here yeah see that bed of vegetables it's uh, mostly uh, well it is it's uh, mushrooms onions and red, yellow, and orange peppers. So what's going to happen is this going to the turkey is going to sit on top of that while it's smoking, and all those juices are going to infuse into the vegetables, and it's going to be so so good. It's going to be incredible. So I'm going to get back to uh, to my rub. Okay, everything's going. I've got my fire going. I've got a pan of water underneath to regulate the temperature. I've got uh, my bed of vegetables up there, and now, last but not least, I've got to put, oh, it's a little messy, but there, the turkey, upside down for now. Uh, I'm going to let this probably smoke for about an hour and a half, so... <laughs> That's going to be it. All I can do is wait and drink my Moscato. I can't wait for that. Then, so let's take a look. Should be time for the big flip, but I want to see how much, if I need to put some more fuel on there. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, this is a little, it's okay. That's the bottom of it, actually. So I'm going to have to flip it, but what I'm going to do now is I might have to put a few more charcoals on here. Yeah. Just a few more. Not a lot. Just to keep it going. Keep the flame alive. Then I'm going to flip it. Okay, time now for the big flip. Now, here's the deal. Uh, the easiest way to do it is also going to look messy, but it's not. It's it's just the most convenient way. Just take them with your gloved hands and just flip the bird right over. Go. Go. 
See? One, two, three. That's it. That's all there is to it. It is a little bit messy, but so be it. Oh. You notice the difference, by the way? The top side was nice and brown. This, this is going to be brown in about two hours. Okay, it's one hour and a half after a flip. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the temperature of the turkey. I'm looking for about 165 degrees. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That looks good, very good. But, like I say, we have to make sure the temperature is correct. So, let me check. Up and up and up and up and up and up and up. Oh, oh, wait, there it goes. Not quite. I might have to give it another half hour. I did want to give it till... It's almost there, but I'm going to give it one half hour or more. One more, one more check. No, it's like 160. I want it 165. Jones is going to do the Thanksgiving invocation. You're on. Um, I'm thankful for my family, uh, my friends, um, God, Jesus, um, Mother Mary, um, um, people who support me, and um, other stuff. You left somebody out. What? You left somebody out. I'm not going to say who. Who uh, did you leave out? Oh, my grandparents. All right, and you left somebody out. DJ? My uncle. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Okay. DJ? Yeah? Okay, thank you, James. Thank you. How do you like the turkey? How'd you like the wing? Okay. Which do you like better, the leg or the wing? Nothing. The leg. And Genesis did a great job last year. Do you have anything to add? No? You just want to eat your turkey. Okay. No? No. Okay. That's, listen, though, Genesis is going to be 10 years old in March, and our goal is maybe, maybe, we can get you scuba certified. You have to be 10 years old by law. Would you like to be a, a, a certified scuba diver? Mm -hmm. And then you can become an aquanaut. James can do it too, but he has to learn how to breathe through the snorkel, so I'm leaving that. That's your job. You have to teach him to breathe through the snorkel. Okay. All right, so hopefully by this time next year, you'll both be scuba certified. Thanks.